Hey guys, this is Griffin here, or you call me Griff Dog on YouTube. Um, I just want to take the opportunity to thank you guys so much for all the support. I just wanted to thank you personally because of all the support that you have given to my channel. It has absolutely skyrocketed and I, I just can't thank you enough. Honestly, I am just so blessed beyond belief to have um, to have the numbers that I have. Like honestly, if you want to look back, like August of 2014, when this whole channel got rebooted, I was not expecting it to be where it is today. I just want to thank you for that. Like. I just want to let you guys know that this channel of mine is not some side project that I do. Like this channel is definitely something I want to pursue farther. It is something I want to definitely do as like a career. I want to do something like this um, in the future for sure. So as you can tell I'm definitely a big NASCAR fan as you can tell in all my videos. But, I want to expand on that. I want to do more than just NASCAR. And so, I don't know where that's going to lead me, but I want to do more than just that. Pretty much what my main concept that I'm going for is the idea of motion. The reason why I would have motion in my um, videos as a concept is because it just fascinates me. I love the idea of either taking something that's still and then making it move, or something that moves very fast and then making it like really slow. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but in the um, the sports videos that I have posted on, um, that I haven't uploaded them, but you can check in one of my playlists. It's just called Griff Dog Productions. The sport videos that I have made absolutely fascinate me too. They absolutely fascinate me because the way how the player either jumps runs, catches, volleys, anything like that. It's really interesting, you know? It's really just fascinating and eye appealing to me. And I want to capture that and I want to show the people how sports and really anything that involves movement can be caught in a whole new perspective. And so I'm going to expand on that. And so, so far, things have been going well, and I want to thank you for that. Like, 2015 has been so huge for me. Like, it has, I have absolutely developed as a filmmaker. I have developed as an artist. And I'm not stopping anytime soon. And so I just want to thank all the people that have been behind my back as I have grown and become who I am. And I'm loving who I am so far. It's fantastic. And I, yeah, I greatly appreciate it. And you know what? If you don't support me, you might as well just shut off this video right now. Because <laughs> there's no point. If you're not going to support me, then why do you take this time to watch this video? You know? <sighs> no, it means a lot. It means a lot for sure. I, I greatly appreciate it what you guys have all done. All, every comment, every like, every subscription does mean a lot to me. And of course I'm always looking to improve my videos. Because I don't know if you've noticed, but I always like change the frame rate on my NASCAR videos. Sometimes they're 29 frames, sometimes lately if it's been 24, like in films. And before I've done 60 frames as well. I'm still experimenting like what makes the most realism for my videos. And I'm going to keep working at that. I'm going to try to figure out what works best. And if you guys have suggestions, please lay them on me. Because I'm definitely open to anything to help improve what I want to set out to do. And so the other thing too, a lot of people have been suggesting about different what if videos. I love the suggestions too. And the biggest one, and that's the next thing I want to talk about, the biggest suggestion that I've gotten is what if Dale Earnhardt was still alive? As you guys know, Dale Earnhardt was a legendary NASCAR driver, 
76 wins, 7 championships, but his life got caught got cut early in the 2001 Daytona 500. This video, I'm just going to warn you, will be controversial because it's the way how I perceive the future would be if he was still alive. Now, of course, I'm going to do research and I'm going to, like, I, I've read reports on what would have happened if Dale Earnhardt, let's just say, retired versus died. And I'm going to put that into my perspective. And so I'm going to put that into a seven-part series, seven parts because that's how many championships he won. And I'm going to lay out what life would be like if Dale Earnhardt was still alive. Um, yeah, and so that's going to be my big project the next two months. And hopefully it could be all be out by, I would say, March or so. So if you look in the description below, you will see the next 14 or so videos that will be popped up by me. I'm not saying a schedule yet because I'm not sure how long this is going to take. Because as you know, I'm still in college. I still have other um, priorities. My goal is to do two times a week starting in January. But don't take my word for it. They will, they'll come when they'll come. Because I'm putting a lot of effort into this. Like I already know part one is done. And it's already, it's at least 16 minutes long. So, we'll just see how it goes. So, yeah, I definitely plan to expand. And, again, I just want to thank you guys. Everyone. Everyone on YouTube. Everyone at school. Everyone that pretty much I know. Like, that has come to support me. Like, <laughs> thank you guys. It means so much. Um, yeah, that's really all I have. Um... 2016 is going to be a really big year, that's for sure. Thanks, guys, and be sure to look out for more videos.